Hello, Leo viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. I'm uh, just going to see what the cards want to say, what the story is here. Sorry. The last reading I did, I was getting that you have multiple people coming your way. You have maybe, th for some of you, three different people coming towards you. You have exes coming your way, and then you also have someone new that you've either just met or that you're going to meet. If you're drawn to my channel, then you're probably in that energy because that's a really common energy um, for those that I channel is new love coming in. So it's either just come in or it's going to come in in the near future for most of you. Let's see what the story is. Spying. Yeah, someone watching you right now. Someone who might have chosen a third party over you and now they're regretting it for some of you. Or you could be in a third party situation. Or it could be, it doesn't, third parties don't always have to be people. It could just be some sort of karmic situation that they chose over you. Like they put someone or something else before you. And they're kind of realizing that was a mistake now. And they're spying on you. And they're maybe stalking your social media a little bit and they're wanting to make this move now. Like they're wanting to see, they might be waiting for some sort of green light from you to make sure that they actually, you know, that you actually want them to move forward. Um, I do, this also does resonate with what I was saying about you having multiple potential life partners. Especially with Mercury being in retrograde now. Or, or it's start, well, it's starting today on the 1st. So... That typically brings exes back around, so it's not really surprising that you have this energy of, of exes popping up out of the blue. And it could also be that someone's noticing that maybe you're talking to other people or they're noticing this energy shift and maybe starting to get jealous, starting to worry. Maybe if a lot of time has gone by, they're starting to get kind of concerned that you might end up dating someone else. So they're wanting to just come forward as soon as they can so that they don't lose this opportunity. Because you're their happiness, their warmth, their light, you know, that's your, their home to them. You're that person they connect with. Uh, they're in their head a lot, though. They're really overthinking this, kind of self-sabotaging a little bit here and overanalyzing it, which makes sense. It's quite, I'm kind of getting the energy of someone that you maybe haven't talked to in a while because it just, or maybe you're talking a little bit, but it's like, you know that there's more that they want to say, but they're holding back and you can kind of feel that energy from them. Like you've probably, you're probably psychic yourself. And I feel like most of you have probably actually channeled that energy from them where it's like, you feel love from them. You feel like they want you back. You feel like they miss you, but then there's just this silence. Like there's no communication or the communication that you guys do have is very limited. It's very almost like fake in a way, like on their end where it's like, they're, they're not saying everything they want to say. And you can feel that energy. You can feel them thinking about you. You can feel them missing you and longing for you and not really like doing anything about it because they're just kind of in their head about it. It's like they overthink it and they sabotage it. You know, it's a very psychic connection too. Dreams, visions, telepathic communication. Like a lot of psychic energy here, just like a close connection um, in the higher realms here. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. This person does appreciate you. Like, they do love you. They do think they're beautiful. I don't think that they've expressed that to you, though. At least not in the way that you want them to. But I do feel like that energy is there. And I think that you know that. Like I said, I think that you have a psychic connection with this person. So I feel like you can kind of feel this energy. Like, you can feel that they're thinking about you. you, can, you you're can picking up on their energy and they're picking up on your energy as well. And it might be coming through in their dreams as well. Like I said, if you're drawn to my channel, then you have multiple potential um, par people that you could be with because that, that's just a common energy, like nine out of the 10 Zodiacs, at least, probably more. Like I think even more people are getting, are even more Zodiac signs are getting on board now where you've got new love coming in. It's a really common energy for people that I'm drawn to where the divine, there's something that took place in the higher realms where you had a set life partner, or you had someone that was in store for you, probably like an ex. And there's just this collective energy that I felt that 
in the higher realms, the spirit guides have just gotten tired of them procrastinating and, and being stagnant and not being able to figure out what they want. And there was some sort of almost like a council or some kind of meeting that took place in the higher realms where they just put their foot down and they're like, you know what, we're going to bring in a new group of DMs or a new group of uh, DFs, you know, divine feminines, divine masculines, whatever you want to call it. And so it's like a lot of people have brand new soulmates, brand new true love that might not have even been planned for you, but your guides just decided, you know what, like they don't want you guys stuck in this energy forever. And so many of you have been stuck in this energy with soulmates or with twin flames just going in circles. And so the divine just sort of stepped in and said, you know what, we're going to bring like a whole new group because there's, it's like, there's, there's all these people waiting for their, their, you know, potential life partner, their true love. And I think the divine is like, what if, what if the people that are waiting, what if we made them right for each other? Like, what if we made them, um, what if, what if we changed paths here? It's like something just, I don't, I know that sounds crazy. It sounds strange, but it's like something happened in the higher realms where they're like, you know what, we're going to do things differently. And it doesn't mean that, I mean, for some of you, this really is a brand new soulmate. Like this is like your first life with this new person. But for a lot of you, I feel like it's just, um, I mean, you always naturally have more than one potential life partner. So for, for some of you, it's, it's like maybe you were meant to, meant to be with your twin flame or, or your soulmate and they're, they're bringing in a different soulmate instead. It could be also someone that you've had past life connections with. I'm not, I'm not saying it's, it's not, you know, whatever the story is, I'm, whatever the story is, I'm just saying a lot is going on in the higher realms where they just put their foot down and they're like, we're going to do things differently. We don't, they don't want you stuck in this pattern forever with people. You know, they, they want you to be happy. They want you to be loved. So some of you are going on a brand new journey with, um, with someone new. Could be someone you met at a club or party, some kind of social event. Let's see here. Cause I get with, with this X here, I feel like I feel like you can like feel their energy. Like it's a strong psychic connection. Um, you can feel them wanting to talk to you. It's just that they still, they're still in their head. Um, again, you know, for some of them, it's like, it's just, they don't know what to say. They don't, they don't know how to move forward, you know? So they just kind of procrastinate. They're trying to build up this courage and assertiveness to move forward with you and to make some kind of love offer here. If this is your story too, and, um, and you want a private reading, my, email address is below. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Um, I do in-depth private video readings where I can, I can look into the situation. You know, I can look into the new person, the ex, whatever you want to know about really. And I can give you more in-depth details. Um, so yeah, but there's some kind of new perspective here. I feel like with your, with this person, I feel like they're taking you for granted less. Like maybe they, I mean, I feel like they always like saw you as a really good person and saw you was kind of above them. But I feel like they just made a mistake, whether it was letting you go or choosing someone else over you or taking too long to message. And now you're start, they notice like energy, what you have a very psychic connection. So if you just started talking to someone new, or if you're just like trying to manifest somebody new, they, your ex can feel that energy. They can feel that you're moving on from them. They can feel whatever this is, they can feel that they don't have you the same way that they used to. Like they can feel that your energy is focused on other things. Or it's again, it's possible that they were focused on other things and now time has gone by and they're starting to kind of freak out and get a little jealous here because they're like, well, what if, what if they're moving on now? Like what if they're not single when I come back to them? What if I take too long to get my, you know, shit together and then when I come back, uh, they're, they, they're with someone else. So they're kind of starting to feel this sense of urgency. Like they need to reach out to you soon, but they're also really lost and confused because they don't know what to say to you. So they're just kind of going in circles in their head right now. Choose a path. Yeah. Like I said, with choose a path here, um, one more card for the X, one more card for the X. Isolate. Yeah. They're feeling isolated, alone, empty. Not sure what to do. Kind of confused here because it's like they just. It feels like a missed opportunity to them. They're, they're worried that this is a missed opportunity. It's like they're really wanting to talk and they're just like, crap, maybe it's too late. 
or maybe I maybe I um, chose the wrong like maybe they chose the wrong person over you they thought that was their true love and now they're like oh wait that wasn't my true love you're actually my true love instead and they're like but they don't want to be like you know make you feel like you're second best like uh it didn't work out with her so can we talk again <laughs> or it didn't work out with him can we talk again it's like you know, there's like an awkwardness here is what I really feel from them is that they just do not, they want to talk to you so badly, but they just do not know how to start a conversation. They don't know what to say. They don't, they, they feel, I feel like this must be someone who messed up because it's like, they just, they really don't know how to approach you. Or like I said, if you are talking, it's like, they just, they don't know. It's like an awkwardness. You know what I mean? Like maybe they are, they're not sure if you would want them to bring up the past. And so they're just kind of being casual right now until they can, figure it out like they're really in their head about this this whole situation but please keep in mind you know for leos for those of you if this is a reading you have like two or three people that you could be happy with so i encourage you not to just go right back into the ex's arms if this is someone who cheated or someone who really hurt you and and screw things up and there's some part of you intuitively that's like eh, it's familiar but i know that i could probably have better than this like I urge you to to give this new person a chance, even if it's not familiar like your ex is. You know, this this isn't, if it doesn't work out with this person, if you decide you don't want this person, the divine is still going to have another life partner in store for you. It's, it's, this is not your last shot at love, you know. Um, your guides want you to know that, that you can pass this up. You can, you can say enough is enough. Um, even if this person does feel guilt, even if they do feel genuine, like, like this, like this realization, like that they, that you're the one that they want to talk to you. You still have this opportunity to move on from this. I'm surprised at how similar the energy um, I'm getting with all my Zodiac signs. It's like all of you have multiple people coming in, which makes sense. Like all of you, all the people that I'm channeling are like ascending. You guys are all stepping into your power. And as you do that, you're manifesting true love. You manifest you know, you're, you're coming into this new energy where you can just have the, whatever you want really. And so it's only natural that you would draw love into you. And, and sometimes when you do like, when you do love drawing rituals, like sometimes you do, um, for those that like do witchcraft, it's like, sometimes you do love drawing spells for like an ex or a specific person. And then when you finally like let go of it and move on, that's when it really manifests because you're not like worrying about the outcome. You're just, you're letting the spell do its work and your energy is, is focused elsewhere. So that gives the divine this power to work. But I also want to say about that is that sometimes when you do that, you also, um, you know, more often than not, when you do love drawing rituals, I feel like you manifest multiple people. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're meditating on, you know, true love, like I'm going to be, I'm going to be married. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be treated like a queen or treated like a king. Even if you're focusing on your ex, you're still putting all that energy out in the universe of, I want my life partner. I want my other half. I want true love. And so the, the, the higher in the higher realms, like the divine, your spirit guides might just, you know, they bring you someone else too. It's like, cause that's that energy of, of love of someone that resonates with what you're asking for. So that might not necessarily be your ex. I mean, your ex is leveling up finally. So I do feel that energy of them wanting to come back around. But again, you might also have this, these other people that um, like other lonely soulmates or other lonely souls that like, you know, kindred spirits that, that felt that call. It's like almost, I feel like you guys, I feel like some of you, maybe this is like a specific message for a couple of you. Did some of you like break down crying about feeling alone and like you like straight up beg the universe like I want my person, I want my true love, I want um, like I want my, I just want to be with someone finally like I want to be happy, I want to be understood, I'm so tired of getting it wrong, I want I want someone who's just as tired of getting it wrong as I am. Whoever like made that call to the universe, it's like you had, I sense like a specific moment where you had this like breakdown, this like a really emotional um, again, this might just be for a couple of you, but it's like you had this emotional breakdown where you're like, I just, I want true love. Like, or it might have, I mean, I feel like a sad energy. Like, I feel like a very, like, like just, just like a, like a vulnerable open energy. Like, please just bring this true love to me finally. For some of you, it might have actually been like a powerful moment for you where you did like a love drawing ritual. You're like, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm going to, I'm going to have love now. It's my time. It's like some sort of just raw emotion, passion, just really a strong energy, a strong moment in time is what I get. 
And this kindred soul, a couple kindred souls maybe, heard that call. They felt that energy. And the divine is drawing those people to you now. Like some other soul heard that. Like they felt that. They felt your energy. Like they felt, like telepathically, they felt you. They could, they could sense your energy. Like could even be someone that like lives around you almost like a neighbor or someone just because I'm just thinking because I'm like, why would someone just feel that energy like that? Maybe maybe you know what the situation is. Maybe you told someone about it. I don't know. And there's some sort of energy where it's like they just, they felt it. So, so yeah, I encourage you, even though the ex feels regret, I encourage you to also keep in mind that you have other options, that you have new love as well. Show me the new love really quick. Show me the new love really quick. Vulnerable, receptive, open, someone who's, who's ready, who wants this, who's, um, Let's see. Fear of commitment. What about fear of commitment? What do you want to say about it? Truth, clarity. End of a pattern. End of a pattern. Breaking patterns of fears of commitment. Maybe your own fears of commitment or, or being with people like that. Ending this pattern. Yeah. I get a lot of passion and a lot of um, just emotion from this, this energy. Taking it slow with someone. Just like I, I feel like a very um, soulmate, mutual feelings, emotional depth. I feel a very like empathetic, gentle, loving, passion energy with, with this. Like this person is just resonating with that energy that you sent out into the universe. Like that, that you just showed your, whatever that moment was, you just showed your soul to such a raw extent that someone just resonated with that and was like, like telepathically probably, maybe not physically, but like telepathically, like they're like, ooh, they, they heard that call. Like it was so powerful that it's like people could feel it for miles and they didn't know what they were feeling. Does that make sense? And it's like you, someone was like, I want that. I'm tired of waiting for my twin flame too. Like I want their, like a kindred spirit that's being drawn to you now. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, if you want me to look more in depth into this situation, I can look into the ex, the new person, all of it. I can go more in depth into this story. Um... Especially for the one that I just channeled with that call you put out. It seems like I'm resonating with your energy. So I could definitely, um, you know, look more into that for you if you want. My email is below. And um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. And please subscribe if this resonates. Thank you for watching.